Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook the other day, kind of taking a survey how people attach picture frame holders or photo frame holders. This is what I do. I've always got plenty of scrap plywood. This will be your top layer. This will be your bottom layer. If you're installing it on wood, you would use regular wood glue, yellow glue. Glue this one down first, put a little glue on top, and then glue this one down. And then by this one setting on top, it's going to look like this, where the screw hole is going to go right there. Now, if you're gluing it on a like a piece of granite tile, and I just did this one as a sample, I would use epoxy because wood glue embeds itself into the wood, but it can't embed itself into the, the granite. And after I glue it down with the, between the two layers, I always add a dab on the corners and actually let it run downhill. And that gives you a little more bonding area. Now, later on tonight, I am going to share this file on my Facebook page, which is Corel Draw File Share, and it'll be right underneath Files. But I thought I'd show how to make this. And this is a very simple one. So we're just going to make one real quick. Let's make a rectangle and let's make it three inches long. Let's put it in the center of the page. I've got my nudge distance set on two inches. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Control D and make a duplicate of it and nudge it down. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to go up to a range and curve, convert it to a curve. We're going to take our shape tool and select these two nodes. Right click and convert those two nodes to curves. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Get right about the middle and just bring it up and in a second it'll tell you that it's in the center now i'm a little particular so i'm going to control d and i'm going to flip it and we're dead on because the index line helped us so we'll delete that one copy we don't not we do not need it so on the on so this is your bottom section and i would round off at least the top corners make a little look a little better so this is going to be your top one Go up to a range, convert it to curves, select these two nodes, and go right up here to add nodes. Now, the most important thing you could do is make sure this is a any, that it goes up because this is in the center. So, with that one done like that, I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select it, select it, select it, select it. Go over here and select that one. It's pretty important that you select that center one to be an any where it'll go up. And if you hold down your control button, you'll get right on the line. Now we can make it a little fancier. And this is what I kind of like to do. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And you kind of see that this edge goes above the deal and, and you don't really need those notches anyway. So I'm going to take this one and control D and make a duplicate and move it down. I actually selected the wrong one. Let's try to get just that one. Okay, we did control D and move it back. And this is where I f find it making fun. It's, it's, it's almost fun to do a little, make it a little bit better. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that and delete that and delete that line, delete that line and then stop because of the, the indexing line. Those two don't really matter, and I'm going to show you how it's going to look. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill it in. Let's cursor over. Let's left click, right click. Let's get rid of our old one because it's kind of broken up. Let's nudge this back over two inches. Now let's bring our other piece, which would be your bottom piece. And see how this kind of conforms. You're going to get more glue surface area. This one and these two are the most important deals where you're going to put your nail. And if you glue it, I've got mine set on making a pie. But your nail head would go right up underneath there and hang on that outer piece. Like this. The nail would be right there. Now, if you use my file... And let's say you're going to use this one right here, and it's 3.35 inches. If that's too big for your work, 
select both of them and change it and have your ratio lock and change it to 75% or whatever, 75%, and now it's still made it equal, but it, now it's only two and a half inches. Whoop. And it'll still work because you, um, let's just put it right on top of the other one. It's still exactly the same except for it's two and a half inches now instead of three. And if it's not big enough, you can make it bigger with your ratio locked. Let's go 125 and 125. And I did not select both of them. So we need to actually move that down. Select both of them. See, now it's 100%. Let's make it 125. 125. And now they're back to like three inches. 3 plus, but they're still symmetrical. And if you grab that corner and snap it to that note, it's still perfect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.